positively jacks in just two days. One of the major dock workers union in Jacksport will soon award nearly $50,000 in scholarships. Many of those who will get an award will be among their first and their families to go to college. One of those who took advantage, the middle right here, Kion White, who was once named our Student Athlete of the Week, uh, Jaden King with the ILA, as well as Vincent Cameron, also with the ILA, and you all folks are involved in the scholarship fund. Um, I want to start with you, uh, Jadine. Tell me a little about this process and how it has grown with the uh, Longshoremen's Association. Well, we've been around since 1995. The ILA Scholarship Fund has been in existence, and over the last 10 years, it has grown tremendously. Under our president, Vincent Cameron, last year we had a banner year, and we reward school um, students that are currently graduating seniors or current college students that have academic excellence and community service. Uh, that's a big plus for us. Kion, we've seen you before on our air, and you're back. And how, well, what is this scholarship doing for you? This is a big deal for you. It's actually helping me um, go to University of Florida, like pay towards tuition, books, and like little school supplies and stuff like that. Mr. Cameron, why does the ILA get so involved in scholarships for youth? Well, we believe in giving back to the community. Um, that is just the, our mantra at the end of the day. And so it does us proud to see Kayan move on and uh, into the, uh, the next phase of her, uh, you know, of her growth. And if we can help a little bit, we know these days that one scholarship won't do it. And so we press to try to raise the bar on all the fundraising we can do to get more dollars into the program. And it, like uh, Jadine outlined this year, we've been successful and able to double the amount of money we raised over in past years. And uh, in, in this time, we've given over a half, what, about a half million dollars over the last 20 years. And, uh, and now we're looking for this dredging to, uh, to occur. And if that occurs, there'll be more opportunities for the ILA to raise the bar. That's interesting because the longshoremen have been such a big part out near Jacksport for so many years. And you say dredging could actually maybe expand this. Oh, no doubt. I mean, it is a direct correlation with uh, what we're able to do in the community as benefactors, right? The ILA has had a historic reputation over its 81 years of giving back to the community. We support the churches, et cetera. We created this scholarship fund just to dedicate to paying it forward for the young minds that are trying to make a difference and need a little help in that direction. And while the, uh, our Platinum Scholarship Award this year was to the tune of $2,000, which was an increase over last year. We've got platinum, we have, what is it, um, gold, gold, silver, silver. and then this year a bronze. Yes. We are looking to continue to raise that bar. And like I said, the more that we can, um, the more opportunities that come through the dredge and the more opportunities that come through the benefaction. Kion, what's next for you? Do you have any ideas what your plans are now? Um, I'll be attending University of Florida in fall, so I'll be majoring in applied physiology and kinesiology, okay. and then after that, I plan on going to medical school. So you, you, you chose a smart one this year. Oh, <laughs> yes. I actually had her application, so it was phenomenal. It was yes. Phenomenal. Yes, it was. And is this continuing to grow each year as far as the student interest that you are seeing? It is. It is. We've been making sure that we have supporters like Jacksport that get into the media for us. And we send applications to all local and surrounding counties, Duval, Clay, St. John's, and Flagler County. So a lot of students then do get yes, a Yes, yes. We have a lot of participation. And this year we had the most. Thank you very much for everything. Kion, congratulations. Thank Good you. luck in college. Thanks, guys, for coming on. I really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. My pleasure. And uh, to learn more about this, head over to newsforjax.com. We'll post the interview a little later this morning on The Morning Show.